internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to an Assassin's Creed short film, which I had no idea existed. So currently on my main channel, my gaming channel by the way, if you didn't know I have one, I'm doing a playthrough of the entirety of the Assassin's Creed series and right now I am playing Assassin's Creed 2. It's my favorite one. I love Ezio so much, but I had no idea there was a short film called Lineage and it's supposed to be about his father, Giovanni Auditori. So I'm really excited to finally watch this and have like more context about his dad because all I know about Giovanni is through what we learn in the game. So there's like not much about his time as an assassin. So this is very exciting for me. <laughs> of course, the eagle. But yeah, this is so cool. The dawn of new Firenze. Art, culture, and science are flourishing under the guidance of inspired minds. I have a question. Is this the same actor from the game? Ooh. Because if it is, that's pretty awesome. Yep. Renaissance. Ah, oh, that's so cool. This is probably the way history will remember us. You know what I love about this? How much detail they put into Ezio's, like, storyline. Gotta get all his weapons, so many. But in the shadows far from the gold and the knowledge lies another truth. Yeah, the hidden blade. Corruption, betrayal, murder. Oh, that's the fireplace. Oh, I love that detail. It's so dangerous that I must hide them even from my own family. I'm so happy. That's the brother. Wait, did we skip over Ezio? Oh, the mom knows. The mom definitely knows. She's the one who I feel the worst for because like in the game, after what happened, she was so traumatized she did not speak. Like, I don't know if she'll ever speak again, but like... To ha have that weight on you, it's like you're keeping a secret from your own family, right? And she has to help co corroborate with that too. Again, I don't know the whole connection of like her, if if Giovanni just met her and then they fell in love and, and that's it. Or if she was a part of the Brotherhood or anything like that. Like, I have no idea. But to hold such a secret for, for your partner in order to protect your kids must be excruciating. Because like, regardless of like the whole assassin thing, people do that in real life, right? Like, they, they, they keep secrets from their family in order to protect them. Aww, Petruccio! Oh, there's Ezio! He's so adorable! Look at him! Family, justice, honor. These are the values guiding my blade. Mm. Family, justice, and honor. Very interesting. Those are the choice words that he decides to pick because I feel like as time goes on, each assassin we play as in the video games, their meaning kind of like changes of like what they're believing in. Altair was definitely truth. That was something he was gunning for. The truth. People wouldn't answer his questions. His his boss Al Mulahim would not answer him whenever he had a question. And I was getting mad about that. And then we move on to Ezio. His was more of justice, justice for his family. So I find it interesting. Every single character is gonna change, which is why I'm really really excited to play the rest of the games too, just to see like what their words are for. That's so cool. I wish I had like a secret the fireplace. <laughs> in, in blood, and the shadows are where I strike. This is so amazing! I love it! Did they have more short films for the other games? Because I would love I to watch them. The yeah! <laughs> and like my ancestors before me, I am an assassin. Oh, I love it! I love that he says that line too! That's so cool! Whoa! Alright, Lineage 1. Oh, it's split into parts. Is that the guy? What's his name? Oh, damn it. Is that Uberto or the other dude? I don't know. I think that's the other dude, right?
How did he not break his ankles? They have a whole choreography. This is amazing! Yeah, run away, coward. The Templars always be running. Oh, he's stuck around! Oh, it's so cool. Oh, that transition. I stopped it's, it's, oh, Dimitri! <laughs> Fortunately, your magnificence, the fourth man escaped. What have you heard? No you way, are? is that Uberto? Dude, I love it. I'd say, I don't know. Are these the same actors? Because they look like them in the game like it's crazy but this is really cool so i i just learned you know the the michi family is very close with the auditory family just because of their history together i believe giovanni saved dimichi from drowning that's how they became close and then just their families aligned with each other since dimichi runs uh firenze and then also the banks about an important event that would cause a shift of power Ooh, the apple yo he looks like him too good 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 that man you captured. Has he spoken yet? He will tell us what he knows. Uberto, turn to the the Templar side. So I guess here he's not. I don't think he would be count as a, an assassin because I just think he's just an ally, right? And he decided to choose the Templars. That's usually what happens. They they kind of like tempt them with something. Oh God! See? Oh Jesus! Where? In Milano. On the day after Christmas. At the high mass. For the feast of Santo. Because everybody would be there. Right? Yeah. Milano. So the Templars could use it to their advantage because everyone in the city would be there for mass oh that's so cool you can see him climb and everything i love i love the production of this i know it's mostly green screen but it's so cool when the echo of the choir becomes louder at the altar, when the bell rings for the twelfth and last time. Oh, that's their signal, the bells, which is very common because they're in a church, which makes it easy for them. I l <laughs> you know what I love about Assassin's Creed? All their robes are so elaborate, and especially because they're wearing their symbols on their on their clothing, right? I always think to myself, how does no one know that that's an assassin? He's the only guy in the room with his hood up. <laughs> Seek transit gloria mundi. Oh, the bells, there they go. At the altar. At the altar. The echo of the choir becomes loud. When the bell rings for the twelfth, Duke of Milano will die. Hurry! Oh, sh hurry up! Damn, they the guards didn't even react quick enough. Hurry, Giovanni, they're gonna get away! Dude, I would just start throwing knives everywhere. That's what I would do. This man is still here. I'm surprised he didn't run away. <laughs> Stop! Don't kill him! 
I think it's too late. His neck snapped. To be fair, that guy's doing his job, right? He's a guard, so like... Oh my god, these transitions are so good. <laughs> they're corny, but they're good. Ah, <laughs> oh, the boys! Look at them. He reminds me of you. He is a lot like his dad. Ezio, remember, you need to think ahead. Don't wait for your opponent to move. Anticipate and surprise him. How are you, father? Good. Oh, I'm gonna cry! <laughs> it's, it's funny, I guess, in a sense, because he never told his sons about him being an assassin, but I guess him being a father teaching him to be an assassin discreetly. Because if you think about it, the way that Ezio lives his life at the beginning of the game, he's just like climbing buildings and running around and like doing whatever but he's honestly very smart about it. he's street smart and i guess he gets that from his father subconsciously his dad's just teaching him that kind of stuff i love i love how loving they are though they're really a nice family just why it's so sad what happens and this guy with the death of the duke of milano lorenzo de medici has lost a powerful ally i am sure that his enemies already plot their next move Sforza's death was not the end. It was just the beginning. That's interesting. And I know where to fight my next battle. Okay, so that explains a lot why Dimitri was targeted in the video game. Uh, since he's the one who runs uh, Florence or Firenze, he, he's the one who governs everything, right? So it explains why he was starting to lose power was because his, the, his ally, the Duke, got killed. And it's unfortunate because Giovanni was not fast enough to stop it from happening. Venezia, his next target, he said, right? That's what he's looking for? I really, really love this. Like, honestly, props to Ubisoft for making something like this. <laughs> they always fall for the coins. I'm entrusting you to send this letter to our master. It's perfect. It's just perfect. After all these years, our time has come, cousin. Who the hell is that? Protect this letter with your life until it is delivered, do you understand me? Go to Campo San Anzolo. Next to the wine merchant there is a statue. A man will be waiting for you there. Do not fail us. Be fat you. The future. F is talking too. I love that though, the eavesdropping missions. Reminds me of Altair. <laughs> Gotta follow this guy. I love it though because he's not falling from the street, he's falling from above. And you wouldn't think to look up on the rooftops. I love how lively they made everything. This is so neat. I can't keep gushing over it, I'm sorry. It's just like really cool. <laughs> oh, this guy took the wrong turn. Oh, damn! Oh, sh he got a punch! This guy's good! Oh, come on, Giovanni! You can do better! Damn, he's getting his ass beat! Oh my... Oh, come on, come on! What are your masters plotting? Speak! As my witness, I will cut your throat. My life is not yours to take, and my secrets come with me. See you in hell. Oh, sh oh, sh a lot of the Templars don't like to speak anyway. I mean, it's I, I assume it's gonna be the same way for the assassins. They wouldn't want to speak of their plans because they're so loyal to their brotherhood or their creed or whatever the case may be. They're so loyal. Well, we got the letter. Okay, we're back at Firenze. I intercepted this letter. Intercept? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Look, your magnificence. It bears the seal of the Barbarigos. I never trusted them. It's code. An encrypted letter. Mm. 
It will take several hours to unlock its secrets. I'll send for you when it's done, Giovanni. This guy's supposed to be the dad's friend, right? Giovanni's friend. It's just crazy that how easy it is to sell out yourself. But I guess it's if, if in desperation, if you're going to try to protect yourself and your family, you would do anything, right? And I guess that's what Uberto did. You broke the code. That's good. I wish I could... S I knew you wouldn't disappoint me, Father Maffei. Wait, what? Go fetch Giovanni. Tell him you will need to travel shortly. I will wake Lorenzo. And Father, remember, you owe us your silence. Secrets are born here, and they die here. Oh, he's definitely threatening him. No one is to know about the content of this letter. Oh, Ezio. Come back to us soon. I promise. He's definitely spying on his dad. You know, I, I bet he was doing all of that this entire time. He just didn't understand what was going on. I, Because, like, Ezio's such a troublemaker anyway. He would definitely be spying on his dad. Our son is watching. Oh, they know! I know. You should talk to him. I will. I will, and he never gets to. Oh, my God, this breaks my heart. Tell me, Papa. Why is it that a banker leaves so often in the middle of the night? <laughs> Business calls, son. He knows. Let me come with you. No. Why not? I need you to assist your brother. Take care of the family while I'm away. I want to help you, father. You're helping more than you know, Ezio. Aww. More than you know. I genuinely question why Giovanni waited so long, because by the time... Assassin's Creed 2 starts. He's already 17 years old, turning 18. So Ezio's already at that age, right? And like he already mentioned to him, like, oh, we need a talk. And then he didn't get a chance. But I I I I kept speculating maybe the reason why he didn't want to was just because Ezio's very immature. But if you think about it, now Giovanni keeps saying, like, you were like me when I was young. Even his mom just said he's so much like you. And like I I wonder if it's just to keep him out of this life. Like he thinks that he can take care of it and let his son have a normal life. Because how long has Giovanni been an assassin? I don't know how long he's been in the Brotherhood. And this is why I keep asking, like, did Altair join because he wanted to? Was he born into it or was he forced to go into it? Same with Giovanni. Because when you think about Desmond, Desmond was born in an assassin compound, but he didn't know that his families were assassins. He just thought, hey, this is where my family lives. He didn't know that about the whole brotherhood and stuff. So he was just accidentally brought into it. So I'm just wondering if it's that's the reason why Giovanni didn't want Ezio to know until he was a little bit older because he's trying to save his son from this life because I imagine that's what he wants because he keeps saying to his sons like him and his brother just take care of the family that's what I want you, you're helping more than you know that's all he keeps saying but unable to decipher it dude this man has been betraying them for a very long time what the, f the only way to unlock the secrets of this letter and find out who masterminded Sforza's assassination is to deliver it. I would be suspicious. I do wonder if they are suspicious of Alberto at this point. I imagine Giovanni's not stupid. <laughs> Come on, he can't be that stupid. Yep. Rome is a dangerous city, my dear Giovanni. Are you sure you want to carry out this mission without any help? Yes. That's For the safety wild. of Florence and the honor of the Medici. And find the pit where these snakes hide. And be merciless. May the father of understanding be with there us. There he is. Isn't it? Isn't isn't it? May the father of understanding guide us or am I wrong? <laughs> okay, we're back in Roma now. Alright, time to follow this guy. Ooh, how many hands is it exchanged to? I guess that is smart on the Templar's part. Making sure it continuously goes to a different messenger. That way, it's harder to intercept. That's our man, right there. Has Rodrigo Borgia become a messenger now? When necessary, Your Holiness. The death of the Duke of Milano changes many things. Is it really? 
the alliances of men are fragile. Even the cities can change hands as easily as money. That's what they're hoping for. As long as God is on our side. Amen. <laughs> it's so wild to me, but it's so accurate that like religious figures would be part of this political game of like trying to gain power and stuff like that. Like I know obviously the work of Assassin's Creed is fiction, right? They just take realistic like realistic historical figures and then turn it into their own story but like in reality how far off is it from what's going on in the world you know what i'm saying lorenzo de medici does not show much respect for our position that is true but you could force them to obey you i believe i'm trying to remember but Dimitri really didn't want to give authority to the church, especially like these certain figures. He didn't want to give authority to them, which is why they were pissed off. And they were like, hey, the Templars can help us and get to our goals. And so make sure that nobody will stand in their way. And that is where the piece of Eden or the apple of Eden comes into play, where... If you guys don't know, <laughs> the Apple of Eden controls everything and it's so perfect because when you think of a country like Italy, especially back then, well, they've, they're still very religious, but since the city right now during this time fall heavily into the religion of going to mass, going to church, you know, praying, listening to these like religious figures, it's so easy for them to just use the Apple on them and control everybody. You know, everybody will show up for Christmas mass. Everybody will show up for Sunday mass. They will want blessings from these religious figures. It's so easy for them to do that. I feel like people would rather listen to a priest than like a governor or a duke. That's what I think. People would be willing to listen to religion more because of the fear aspect. That is something that Altair talked about, how people are very scared to formulate their own opinions or find out the truth for themselves they rather fall in line with whoever is in power and that oftentimes becomes religious figures florence is weak now we should take advantage of it with your help it's not part of my office to consent to the death of anyone my concern is the greater good of the republic of florence therefore i am prepared to offer my spiritual support and military help see to ensure order is maintained Preserve the honor of the Holy See, Rodrigo. You can count on me, Your Holiness. Liar! So that's what he mentioned in the game, is that uh, the Pope agreed to this so long as there's no deaths involved. Ironically, there were a lot of deaths involved in the game, so that went out the window. <laughs> Man, this, this just makes me think of like how crazy it is. He's willing, the Pope is willing to agree to this, like control people. Because I'm assuming he knows what the freaking Apple does. Like it mind controls people and does whatever they say. But it's it's wild to me to think you're somebody who's supposed to be like oh, the, the holy man who, who makes good decisions and better for the people. And it's wild to think that they think the only way to be good is to obey like completely control everybody's opinions their thoughts their their willingness to make it whatever they believe instead of letting these people come to their own conclusions that's so crazy to me oh there's giovanni did he notice him because it kind of seems like he noticed giovanni standing there Looking for the man who just came in. You must have seen him. Where did he go? It has been very quiet here today. I have seen no other man. Trap doors. The hood covered his face. He wore black clothes. I cannot help you. Maybe God can. Pray. You will find the answer. That's that's such a cryptic way of saying like <laughs> he's in here, but you gotta look for him. Oh, it's waiting for him right there. Your blade won't be enough, assassin. What happens now is up to you. You have a unique set of skills, Giovanni. That's your name, isn't it? A set of skills I'd be delighted to have on my side. 
the apple. Oh my god, the symbolism is so good. The apple of Eden is the apple, you know, in the story of Adam and Eve, Eve took an apple from there, was tempted by the serpent, and the the apple's supposed to represent all knowledge, all things that to come, all things that could happen, and you're in control of that. And I know in the story of of the series, I'm sure there's a lot of assassins that were very tempted to go on the Templar side, and vice versa, a lot of Templars were tempted to go on the assassin side, right? Because the whole point of the Assassin's Creed is like, the story is not meant to say that the assassins are all good guys and the Templars are bad guys, or vice versa. It's all neutral. It's the way that you see it. There's no right or wrong answer with this. It's just unique to Ezio's game because Ezio is about revenge and justice for his family, which is why I said earlier, every assassin has their own words of like what they think is right and wrong. Um, and, and this time around, it's justice, right? That's that's what they think it is supposed to happen, which makes it seem like the assassins are the good guys in this story. But can you imagine Giovanni being on the Templar side? Because again, what he said earlier is family, love, and like, you know, justice. That's what he strives for. And even if you don't like them, I'm sure the Templars see it that way too. It's just unfortunately their way of thinking is very extreme. What side is that? The side that is going to win a war you don't even know has begun yet. The world is changing under your feet, Giovanni. Join us, and you may live to see it. Borgia. Bullsh. Right? <laughs> I also know how this is going to end. With your fantasy in ruins, an assassin's blade in your throat. We shall see. He's all yours. Get him! Of course it was a trap. Oh! Are these all the workers? That kind of makes sense. Oh! Come on, Giovanni doesn't even have a sword. You guys suck! <laughs> Why is he lurking in the shadows, dude? If I were you, I'd run. That's just me, though. Oh, <gasps> his blade. Oh my god, that's how it broke. Oh my. Okay, I know. Uh, I should have watched this before I played Assassin's Creed 2, but that makes so much more sense in the beginning when Ezio finds his father's like uh, robe and his blade. He's like, oh, it's broken. That's how it broke. I think he has other weapons, or he'd be screwed. They'd almost pierced your heart. Right, it's so close. You haven't spoken a word since you've returned. What's going on, Giovanni? His forces assassination was just the beginning. This is a vast conspiracy, Maria. I'm pretty sure the next step will occur here in Florence. I'm concerned for the Medici's safety, for his allies' fate, and for our own. Father Maffei is here. He wants you to come with him immediately. He's not alone. Armed men are with him. Calmity, figliolo. What is happening? Go back and tell my fate that I'm already gone. Buy me some time, depending on you. You're the eldest. Protect the family. So sad! Oh my god! No! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the f- I told you, my father isn't here. And don't ever doubt the words of an auditory again! <laughs> That's right! Oh no, no, the Templars are freaking out. Calm down! Our main problem is that damned assassin! This investigation threatens our plans! Don't worry. I'll deal with Giovanni. I've already got something in mind. And then, nothing will stand in our way anymore. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, what was his girlfriend's name? <laughs> my dear sons, dark skies are rising over Florence and time is running low. Oh. The enemy is closer than I thought. Now, the final battle is about to unfold. Every man is mortal. Every life comes to an end. But certain things will never change. Federico and Ezio, my sons, always remember. We are the Auditore di Firenze, and we are assassins. 
Wait, he wrote a letter to him? Yeah, the conclusion is in my hands because I'm the one who's gotta play the game. <laughs> Okay, so he wrote a letter and then telling them he would th th that they're assassins. So wait, did Ezio ever get that letter or, or did I miss that? Because like, I don't remember him getting something like that. That's crazy. But in conclusion, it's really sad because you can see how close Giovanni was to ending all of this. If he just got Giorgio in, in the church, it would have been over and like they would have been safe and alive. But since he didn't get them... That's what caused Uberto to betray them and kill him and his two other sons. It's just real. It's a real shame that it ended like this. And then Ezio falls into his father's work and having to like take care of everything. And I just feel so bad because he didn't want that, right? He didn't even know what was going on. All right. So that's going to be my reaction to Assassin's Creed Lineage. I'm honestly really happy that I watched this now rather than before because I, ne I never seen... I didn't even know this thing existed for the Assassin's Creed game. And this gives so much more context as to what Giovanni was doing and how everything ended up the way that it did. Because like, Ezio never got the answers he was looking for why his father was killed or why specifically their family was targeted. And I really appreciate Ubisoft for making something like this, which was just like, you can see how much love they have for the series especially for uh, assassin's creed 2 it, it just gives so much more context that i really love it i really really enjoy it anyway with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments what you think and if you guys haven't seen my playthrough on the assassin's creed series please check out my gaming channel it is a girl in a game i'll leave a link in the description you can go check it out i'm currently playing through all of them so if you want to join me on this journey i'd really appreciate that but yeah i want to hear your thoughts on lineage what you guys think if you have seen this movie before like i haven't seen it and i really hope there's more stuff like this you know for the assassin's creed series because like it's been really great so i want to also know if you guys want me to react to the assassin's creed movie that was with michael fassbender don't know if i should because i think it's gonna be bad but you know we could just laugh at it i guess <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video bye